boat leaves port due north, traveling 35 miles per hour. After two hours, the boat turns east and travels for another four hours. At that moment, what is the distance and bearing back to the boat? Very important, the words back to port, I'm sorry. So again, I see that we're dealing with some bearings, direction. So first thing I'm going to do is draw my northeast, southwest. Now, it says that the boat traveled due north. That's relatively easy. That's just straight up north, right? And it traveled there going 35 miles per hour, so 35 miles per hour. So if you do for two hours, then you've traveled 70 miles. So let's say we traveled here. Let's say that is 70 miles. Actually, you know what? I'll do it in a different color, so therefore it's easy to recognize. Okay, then, crazy about a boat, I can do a 90 degree turn and immediately start heading due east for four, um, for four miles without changing speed or anything else. So a little unrealistic, I recognize that. But the nice thing is we know that it's creating a what? Right triangle, right? And it does that for four hours. So therefore, 35 miles per hour, four hours, that's going to be 140 miles. So now, here we are. There's the boat. Started here, which is port, and then that's where it ends. Okay? So now what we got to do is it asks us to find the distance back to port. And guys, we recognize that the distance here is just the Pythagorean theorem. D equals the square root of 70 squared plus 140 squared. Right? I mean, I'm not writing the Pythagorean theorem. I'm just solving it from there. No, it's 35 times 4. Right. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So I'll just do the square root of 70 squared plus 140 squared. And I'm getting 156. Anybody else? Yes? No? Okay. 156. And then if we round that to the nearest thousandth, Um, now again, what is that? That's miles. Now, before we write that answer though, should we, we should probably check our answer, make sure that makes like sense. Well, 70 miles, 140, that's 150. That makes sense, right? If we got an answer of 150,000, we probably recognize that we, would do some, we did something wrong, right? Or if we recognize we got an answer of 10, we did something wrong, right? So we'd want to make sure we check our answer, make sure it makes sense in the context of the problem. So the next one now is asking us for a bearing. So again, what do we need? If we're asking about bearings or talking about bearings, we need again another northeast, southwest. North, east, south, west. So again, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find the bearing from where we're at back to port. So to do that, we need to figure out what that angle is. Right? We obviously can't figure out that the bearing back unless we figure out what that angle is. Alpha. Now again, be careful though, that is not the bearing, right? Because what do bearings do? Bearings start either from due north or due south. That is not starting from due north or due south, right? So let's figure out what this angle is though. So I could write an equation, I could say tangent of alpha is equal to 70 over 140. So alpha equals, I'm assuming you guys can do the tangent inverse of 70 divided by 140. I'm getting an angle of 26.565. Now, I'm going to be using this as a calculation. I'm going to round this to the nearest thousandth. Um, and again, I'm going to leave it in this way. If you needed to do more calculations, you could store this. But in this case, we don't really need to do that because you guys got to think, well, um, actually, you know, we should actually store that. Let's store this as A. Actually, you know what, I might, yeah. you don't need to store it. What I'll do is I'll show you what I'll type in my calculator. What is one of the bearings, guys? If you want to think about the bearing, couldn't you go south this many degrees west? Well, this angle is what with that angle? Starts with a C. Supplementary. Complementary, right? <laughs> so the bearing, so all we got to do, so what I would do is once I get this answer, I would just take 90 
and I do minus um, second answer, which is exactly that answer. So you just take 90 minus your answer, which is 63.4, I'm sorry, 4, 3, 5 rounded. So we could say it has a bearing. So the bearing is, the bearing is going to be, um, the bearing is going to be south 63.435 degrees west. Right? Now, could we also do a bearing from due north? Could we also do a bearing from due north? Yes. Yeah. So what we could do is, again, take this angle, which we'd want to use, and we'd say, well, guys, basically this angle is, like, from here to here, how big is that? From here to here. Well, let's do it. All the way around the circle is 360. Three quarters of the circle is 270. So if we just subtract alpha from 270, that would give us this bearing, right? So we could also do 270 minus that last answer, 26.5. Or you could store it if you wanted to. Or you could just say, this has a bearing of 243.435 degrees. Or another way you could have added, um, taken that 63 and added 180 to it. Right? If you figured it, once you figured this out, you could have just added 180 to it, and that would have got the angle too. So either one of those would have been either one of those is acceptable. Okay. So you did the 